Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. What's poppin'? What's going on in the life of an Aquarium between the 1st and the 15th of April? <laughs> Are we in this space of healing? Gathering ideas? Holding on to our thoughts and writing them down because we know that they're coming from the feminine aspect of ourselves. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm going to do that, okay? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can better assist you without cussing, all right? To my returning subscribers, what's up, family? Ah! To the new subscribers, you guys, welcome to the family. We are a little dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow. We share. We love. We evolve. We help one another. We speak in the comments. We don't do all that crazy shit. That's that's, that's not for this channel. All right? Um, to everyone, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it, you guys. It means so very much to me. I really, really do. Okay? Um. This will be from the 1st to the 15th of April for my Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Aquarius. You guys do um, take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? If the damn shoe don't fit, don't try to put that motherfucker on. It's too damn big. You got your ass going to fall, all right? So we're going to rock out, all right? So if you, this is just a um, a general message. If it, it's not personal, if you need a personal um, reading, that information can be found within the description box all right so let's get it we're going to start off with the intuitive messages that i did pick up while meditating on the energy of aquarius 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 all right so for you all i received sacred space epiphany happiness aries sag leo gemini acceptance revisiting Choosing Self, Balance and Act, Libra, Virgo, Pisces, Ancestors, Walking Away, Self-Worth, Great Abundance, Patience, Divine Timing, Unexpected, Health, Mediumship, Successful Business, New Love, Dreams, Taurus. All right. So I pray that that did resonate with most of you. All right. <clears throat> Your next message comes from the what's this? Doreen Virtue Archangel for Day. Okay. So the message that you guys pulled was Claire Cognizant. Was Claire Cognizance. I'm fucking up the magic retrograde. Got me fucking words up. Just dissecting them. Okay. Um, your message comes from Archangel Uriel. Pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. So a lot of you all, I'm hearing dreams. Some of you all may be dreaming. Um, some of you, all, some of you all may be actually having dreams of um, your future to come. Some of you all, some of you guys may also be having deja vu moments that I'm hearing um, when having conversations with people that pertains to your life purpose and the spirit letting you know that those people are meant to be in your world. Okay. For some of you all, um, some of you guys are in this space of healing and it's like this soul remembrance of I've been here before. Like I've done this before. I've danced this dance. I've danced this tune. Some of you all also are going to be gaining, um, some of you all, your, your, your spiritual, your, your, your confirmation to the, to your answer prayers for a lot of you all is going to be a rainbow. So for some of you all who may be, um, you may be, you may have asked spirit to, um, send you something or you may be actually practicing the law of attraction. Your confirmation to what it is that you're trying to manifest and spirit pretty much letting you know, hey, you know, what you want is on the way to you is going to come for some of you all in the form of a rainbow. During this time, a lot of you guys may be in the place of um, switching your diet, changing your diet around. For those of you who have been wanting to manifest or for those of you who have been wanting to try to manifest a new baby or some type of expansion on your family, I do see that this new moon in Aries is going to be very prominent for you all, especially when it pertains to your finances as well as um, the reigning in of the things that you've been trying to manifest with the law of attraction. 
For some of you all who practice some sort of dragon magic, and I am seeing it here, some form of dragon magic, uh, when it comes to prosperity, or for some of you all, this could have to do with some form of a deity. Um, I do see that around this new moon, it may be, some of y'all may have forgot around, uh, forgot about damn offering time, okay, with this damn deity, like when offering time is. For some of you, this deity, you, you needed to get a clear understanding of what this deity wants. For some of you, it has to do with fertility, and for some of you, it has to do with gold coins, gold gold coins. That's that's for a few people. Some of you may be moving into this holistic way of life, like holistic way of being, or some of you all may be changing your major to go like to school or go to college for some form of some, some form of like holistic uh, practice of holistics. Some of you all, for those of you who are using some form of dragon magic, it's, and, it, and it, it, this feels like it's tied to some type of ancient, like ancient, um, for some of you all, this has to do with like some type of shamanic practice. And for others of you, this has to do with like some type of like feng shui, um, the art of feng shui, a law of attractions through feng shui by using dragons. Some of you all may be also studying the occult on like mediumship and how to like contact the dead or contact the other side during this time. They want you to know that they hear you. Especially if this is an ancestor, young male, looks to be anywhere between 19, 27, son, son, somebody lost their son. Someone's son wants you to know if you're talking to your son or trying to, um, open up the waves or open up some type of portal to communicate with your son. They want you to know they they this person hears you. Okay. Some of you all may be um practicing love spells during this time or spells around some type of um this could be spells around like some type of beauty, like law of attraction through like some type of like beauty spells. But it is working. Some of y'all may be actually seeing owls during the month of April. For some of you all, it's rabbits, and they're both signifying wisdom and abundance. Fertility for some of you all. Some of y'all, if you don't want no kids, your ass better be careful. Some of you all, you really need to, some of y'all may be finding um, a new place to meditate. Some of you guys may be actually be meditating out in nature. Some of y'all got a massive ass download that's, gonna, a download that's going to be coming around of around a bunch of like pink flowers in the month of April and that white a white a white rabbit and pink flowers are very significant to a few of you all when it comes to a download that you're going to be receiving in some form of nature for some of you all, you may be seeing butterflies a lot during this time, signifying some type of change or some type of new life path, a new life cycle that you're going into. For some of you all, the Spirit is trying to give you a gift, and this gift has to, for some of you all, it's an energetic gift. For some of you all, it's actually honing a new spiritual ability. Some of y'all are actually going to move to a place of having like um, real-time premonitions or primitive like primitive visions um and you'll notice that and for some of you all this is happening like it started off in your sleep but you're going to notice that it's going to be happening when you're not awake I mean, when you're not asleep and for some of you all you're wanting to hold this to yourself because you have this fear of being judged but to be honest with you this gift is going to bring you prosperity if you choose to stand in your truth about it because it's going to assist you in helping other people in some form of light work some of you all may be learning, um, some of y'all may be finding out some form of information around some form of money. Some of y'all have a badass encounter with a uh, with an earth angel happening in the month of April. This person is coming to give you some form of information or give you some form of assistance, help of some sort. Some of you all are really needing to let go. Some of the things that you've been holding on to for quite some time. For some of you all, this has to do with uh, for two years. Some of you guys, this could have to do with something that could occur when you were 22. 
or something that could have occurred when you were 23. I'm also hearing 37 for some of you all. I heard 17 for another a group of you all. 15, 19, 24, and 36. You're really needing to let let things go and see things in a in a different from a different perspective in order for you to see how you were blessed in circumstances from the past. There is abundance coming from a shift in perspective of how you see things, how you see greater aspects of the things that really matter to you. A lot of you all are going to be in this place of really kind of shifting. You're going to see major shifts in your belief system during this time that it is going to start the month of April. Some of you all may be in this place of, you know, what is it that I truly believe in? Like, I'm not a religious person, but some of you all may have grew up around religion, you know. So it's really you waking in, it's really you waking up and standing in your truth. Some of you all may have issues with your throat chakra um, in the month of April. And I feel like it has to do with, uh, it, this could be like some type of cyanitis, this could be strep throat, this could also be um, some form, but there will be issues with the throat chakra, maybe you won't be able to um, express yourself, you're not able to express yourself, or you're not ready yet. Some of you all could also be finding out that the person that you're with, or you, you kind of come from a, a lineage of um sorcery or a lineage of like white witches or a lineage of, of like healers some of you all have some information that you're really needing to learn about or regarding your father that you'll be learning about in the month of april for those of you who are dreamers, for those of you who have those premonitions, you're going to be learning where you got that from to give you a different perspective of why you needed to contact or reach out to this looks like a father figure or a mother figure. For some of you all, this is definitely a father. For those of you who feel like you couldn't have a baby in the month of April, you're going to get some, some hella news when it comes to fertility. Beer got a surprise for you. Hmm. Such a blessing. Mocha love the kids. Okay. For some of you all, there is new love trying to trying to appear and emerge in your life. But for some of you all, you have an issue with opening up because of things that you've gone through in the past. You really need to see your past with new eyes, with a new perspective. Allow things, uh, allow things that you once knew to be to die and shift so that you can truly see the beauty and the blessing of the things that's trying to come into your world. But you damn sure can't see forward if you're so busy stuck on looking back in the past and what the hell been going on back then was and what didn't work right because it's gonna continuously leave that 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 vibration of fear there or that vibration of perception or assumption before you even give it a chance. For some of you all, you're really needing to. Um, some of y'all may also be receiving some type of communication from looks like a father figure. This could be a child's father or um, your father. That is going to allow you to have a new beginning. There's a need to compromise and there's a need to have more compassion for another person. I don't know if this is someone else with you, Aquarius. But I definitely feel like, yeah, some of you guys are also going to be going through some type of like crown chakra activation. And then as soon as you go through your download, then bam. You, you're going to be getting clarity from all which ways, even when you're asleep. To release you from these cycles that you've kind of been stuck in without having that closure from within, well, pretty much within yourself and from other people. Yeah, definitely a father figure. For some of you all, there's a need for you to stand firm, hold your ground, and not not come in a situation, not come in a conversation with war, but with nothing but unconditional love and understanding in order to get a positive solution that you'd like to get. Okay. So let's dig into this love and see what's going on with Aquarius and love for the month of April. All right. So the overall energy uh, for love matters with you guys was the four of diamonds. Okay. I definitely feel like Aquarius, you're in this place of healing. Taking care of you, self-care, self-worth, focusing on your stability. Let's 
Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Aquarius for the month of April in love? I'm going to write it Cross out the next second in love. All right. Some of you all could possibly be dealing with the fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I definitely feel like you and this person, you definitely share a whole lot of passion. For some of you all, you also have a telepathic connection with this person. I definitely feel like you... Mm -hmm. For some of you all, you or the other person could be wanting some type of commitment, okay? But I definitely feel like there's, there's, you guys are not connecting on a communication level, though. I definitely feel like one person communicates very childishly, which is preventing the new beginning from happening, okay? I definitely feel like for some of you all, you're also, um, for some of y'all, this could be someone who could have just recently got out of a marriage or some type of commitment. And I feel like the feelings are mutual with how they feel about you. They really want to move forward with you. However, they're a bit defensive uh, about this new beginning due to the fact that some somebody is holding on to some type of um, worry or fear or resentment having to do with a third party situation. This person could have actually like just gotten out of a situation that, that, that where they were dealing with a third party. Okay. For some of you all, some of you guys could also be moving forward, okay, after a third party situation towards something new. This stuff, something new could be a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio from your past. I feel like you could have been committed to someone or could have been married to someone. And I feel like there was the sex was holding the relationship together, however, but there was still third party energy and someone chose self work here, okay? So I definitely feel like for some of you you have a new beginning cranking off with the fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius. Okay, after possibly releasing someone who you were married with. For some of you all there's a new beginning or a moving forward. Um there's some type of like for 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 a lot of a lot of you all, this is a past life part a past life partnership, which is the intensity behind the actual connection within itself, but there is a lot of passion here. For some of you all, you are very passionate about commitment. You really want to be committed. Some of y'all, this could also involve a Libra or someone who is committed to somebody else. Yeah. During this time, a lot of you guys are going to be standing your ground. Look here. I'm not going to be an option. I'm going to be the damn choice. So what the fuck you going to do? You going to come on, catch up, hot sauce, what you want to do. What you want to do? Because I'm releasing shit that is not for me. That's not, that, that, that does not make me happy. Some of you all, for those of you who are dealing with a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, some of you could be finding out that this person could have reconciled with the, um, with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius from their past. I feel like the relationship could definitely still move forward. But there is going to have to be that truth and clarity, that, 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 that moment of truth conversation that is had, okay? For some of you all, yeah, some of y'all, I'm just taking a leap of faith. For some of you all, you really wanted to move forward with an Aries person, with this damn food card here. But for some of you all, you may have to move away from this person in order to actually get your wish of fulfillment. Because someone here definitely, somebody here, somebody here wants commitment. Someone here wants to take it slow. But whoever wants to take it slow, I feel like this person does not know how to communicate communicate properly about taking it slow because either this person could also want to hold on to possibly another energy that they're waiting on to come back from their past who you could have dealt with a third party situation with with this person um hope that makes sense um i definitely feel like there is past energy here like someone returning for some of you all there is newness here with these aces here for some of you all you're dealing with the new fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, after some past bullshit that you could have walked away from. And I feel like you manifested this movement for You manifested this momentum. However, in order for you to have everything it is that you desire, you're going to have to set clear boundaries for people from your past. And I definitely feel like you know that you have to have this, like you have an inner standing, you know, that you have to set these boundaries. However, you kind of seen things going one way and in reality they're going another way. But it's kind of going to set you up for you to get whatever to get what it is that you've been trying to manifest. I feel that some of you guys are really stuck in putting your expectations and receiving what you want from one particular person. And spirit is saying, "Aha! I got an unexpected twist for you. You can have what it is that you've been manifesting because you deserve it. However, it's not going to come from the face that you're expecting it to come from. For some of you all, for some of you all, it can." However, there needs to be an understanding 
that's had with the fact that you're not talking to me correctly. There needs to be an understanding of the fact that, look, I am not your past, okay? I don't know what went on in your past, but you're going to have to heal and let that go. And if this is somebody who you had a third-party situation with in your past, we, we, we can't keep bringing up the past because I, I feel the energy of someone wanting to move forward, but someone keeps bringing up the past. And for some of you all, this is someone who is keeping you in their energy. This could be a fire sign, every single Sagittarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who is keeping you in their energy. You or this person could do music. I don't know where they came from, but... You and this other person could be a musician or of some sort. But I definitely feel like for some of you all, this person is just holding on to this damn night of one's energy. And they're making a decision not to make a decision in order to stay in your energy to prevent you from moving on. <laughs> Truth is, because they want to continue giving to two situations. For some of you all, you have annoying that this person is giving to two situations. And you just, you didn't have enough. You're over it. You're releasing that burden, which is going to bring you ultimate balance as well as allow you to see the options, the other options that you have without you, while you've been st pretty much, see the other options that's in front of you since you ain't been seeing them because you've been stuck on this damn fool. So I definitely see a balance in that coming. I definitely see you, Queen of Swords, needed to set clear boundaries and let people know what you will or will not accept. And I also see an eagle give and take in a union in, in some type of partnership, possibly with a Capricorn towards Virgo, after releasing possibly a fire sign. All right? So this is what I have for you all for the month of April in love. Um, well, pretty much the message that I have for you guys for the month of April for the 1st to the 15th, Aquarius. Please let me know how it resonates. You guys, thanks in advance for all of the likes, shares, the subscribes, the comments. I love you very, very, very much. If you need a personal, hit me up. That information is in the description, and I will see you guys mid-month. Love you a long time.